What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today we're going to be watching two songs from my dude, Sugar. I'm so freaking stoked about this. We haven't done anything of Sugar's solo stuff since First Love, and I really like that song, but I know he goes a lot harder than that too, so let's check these two out. The first one is called Give It To Me. I'm not really sure anything at all about that, and then the second one is called August D, and it's like a self-titled track, I guess, because technically that's his other rap name other than Sugar is August D. So I'm really stoked to see that one as well, too. If he named the song himself, it's probably talking about himself. But then on top of that, it's got to be a freaking good song. If you're going to name the song after yourself, it's got to be freaking hype. Unfortunately, there's no live videos for either of these. So we're going to do a lyric video, then a music video. Then a lyric video, then a music video. And guys, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, please hit that sub button. I know only about 30% of the people that watch these videos are subscribing, and we're trying to get to 50,000 subs by the end of the year. Please hit that sub button. I would appreciate it to death. Either way, let's get into the first one. This one's going to be Give It To Me, the lyric video. Three, two, one, go! Love the picture. This is not what I thought it was going to sound like. Streams? I was just talking about this to my friend Chris today, actually. It says, still, it seems like even if I don't know the secret to success, I know the secret to failure. I know how to fail tremendously. Through failing time and time and time again and knowing what doesn't work, eventually you find things that do work. And I think that's kind of like where I'm at in my life right now. I think I've found enough things that haven't worked for me or how to do it the wrong way enough times that I'm doing it the right way for the first time, maybe in a long time. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong still. A lot of people probably think so, but I feel like me personally that I'm doing things like the way that I want to and the the most genuine way that I can, and that's the correct way for me. <laughs> I freaking love that. Can't give it to me. Can't give it to me. Mother Johnny got got your wife. But more not here now. Get your arms out in the numbs. I love the stagger there, that sounds so cool. The staggering in that course where he says, Get, give it to me, reminds me a little bit of Jin's song that we listened to recently where he used I like that. He said, Maybe I, I can never fly. The staggering in those makes that stand out that much more. Just that little extra twist on that one word, or that one phrase helps so much. But yeah, I feel like Sugar did a really good job capitalizing and like more so than this song trying to tell us something, it's kind of portraying his motivation. This is his drive. This is like his determination 
personified in song form, and I really enjoyed it. From what I heard, that's what I'm gathering from it. Let me know if I'm wrong. Please let me know what you guys got from this song, but it's definitely a hype song for sure. And also, what did Flashlight, what does that mean to him? Do y'all know what that means in that saying? Sugar freaking knocked it out of the park. And I can't wait to see the music video. I have no idea what it's like. Hopefully, the music video is going to tell us a little bit more about the song. So let's check that out right now. Swipe it! It's dark looking. Okay, really quick while he's getting up. Uh, do y'all know who wrote the actual music here? I'm guessing since this might be Suga just doing all of it, hopefully he wrote it. It's very different. The way that they're using the strings in that, it's very cool. It sounds almost like uh, carnivalish, and I like it. Well done. <laughs> Does that not have like a throwback almost to the No More Dream music video? It just has like that street look to it, like the colors almost a little bit the same. <laughs> I love that line. Born Tiger ain't gonna live like a dog. Okay, we're going to pause it there so you guys can see this while I'm talking about this. But I have a question. Whenever J-Hope's stuff started coming out, I really hadn't heard a lot of their other mixtapes. I still haven't heard a lot of BTS's discography, and I hadn't heard a lot of rap lines, solo stuff. So a lot of the things that I've heard haven't been like as... Almost like I'm not gonna say this is dark, but darker kind of, you know what I mean? Like this isn't it's a little bit more raw. And I hadn't heard a lot of this. So whenever I heard stuff like Arson, especially more, like more definitely had a rock feel to it for sure. And that course to more, get out of here with that. That's definitely some rock metal influence. But it's not as out of their wheelhouse as I was thinking that it was. I was actually really taken back by it. Cause for me, J Hope is just a smiling, amazing dancer. He's really good in rap line he's a good singer too he's just everything that i've seen about him he's just really happy and stuff but it doesn't really fall out of place for this if that makes sense i definitely see j-hope sugar and rm could all three have a solo concert together like in the same show and it would flow perfectly after seeing this i don't feel like j-hope's jack in the box is out of the place that's just my thoughts on it and everything I've heard from RM, like Rap Monster, a lot of Rap Monster stuff is kind of like edgier as well too. I definitely feel like Suga, RM, and J-Hope could have like a power trio concert where they all play their own individual songs and it would flow freaking awesome. That would destroy the internet and possibly whatever city that's in. Suga would freaking give it to me. 
Great song. I honestly had no idea what to expect. I know that Suga's got a song that's a really sad song, and I was kind of thinking that Meg was going to throw it in there, but I don't think so now. I don't think that August D seems like it's going to be a sad song. But now we're getting into August D. It's a self-titled thing. I'm really freaking stoked about it. Let's check it out. Three, two, one, freaking go! Like, can that drum line start? Is this on the same album as Give It To Me? Reminds me of some rap monster stuff too. Persona? That was so freaking fast. That was ridiculous. Suga is so good. I've already known that he was a really fast rapper, but Jesus, that was insane. What does he mean because I'm from the D? What is the D? What is the D? Where is that? Where is he from? The D. I've heard that August D, like D is where he's from, but what does it stand for? so quick there's so many lyrics like i feel like i didn't really get to capture everything obviously i didn't get to speed read it as fast as he was saying it but my god what i did pick up freaking brutal there's a part in there where he said that y'all should be thankful that i'm an idol and that is so freaking brutal like he's so good if he was in the rap game he'd be crushing all of the rappers out there pretty much is what he's saying right there that's like the ultimate flex he's saying all of his haters 
are just like, oh, you're just an idol. You're just an idol. And that's the best way I think I've ever heard of somebody dealing with their haters. He's like, you better be glad I'm an idol because I'd be running the rap game. And I'm already doing it just off these freaking mixtapes. Sugar, dude. Oh, that's a good flex. That's a real good freaking flex. I got chills, actually, just even thinking about it. Saying it out loud felt good. God. Good on you, sugar. That was beautiful. Let's watch your music video. This looks very similar to his other one, too. I like this. What does that word mean? Hold on. This word. What does this mean? To be honest, whatever that word is, is embarrassing. Now I sell half a million a year. What does that mean? What is that word? I'm not sure what that word means, but I mean, he's definitely selling over more than half a million a year now. Okay, so I was like, ah, oh, this looks kind of similar to his other video a little bit. This looks like the prequel to his other video, and that's really freaking cool. I'm liking it. We gotta know how it went from him riding in the back of this 18 wheeler with the house on the back of it to it flipping because that's the starting of give it to me it looks like it starts after august d so is there a video in between that that shows like how it wrecked and how it got to where it was in give it to me because give it to me everything smashed sugar i don't know man i do not know i've got a bias my bias is gin right but it's really hard for me to pick and especially once we do all these solos every single time i hear one of their solos i'm like that was freaking awesome. Nothing can top this. And then I hear the next song and I'm like, that was really freaking cool. Maybe you guys are just doing a really good job of suggesting the songs to me. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is awesome. But I haven't heard anything yet that I'm like, I don't know about this one, guys. And I really thought that there was going to be a lot of them. Whenever I've been, like before, whenever it first started off and it was like vocal line, I was kind of nervous to get into vocal line. That's what I was afraid of. I was like, ah, it's going to be something that I'm not really into. But everything y'all have played me so far, I'm like, damn. 
Damn, sugar, holy crap. I have to hear more of this stuff. Thank y'all so freaking much for sticking around. If y'all made it to the end of the video, comment tongue technology, because that's probably the funniest freaking thing I've ever heard in my life. I freaking love that. Oh my God. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to one another. And if anybody needs anything at all, please hit me up. All of my socials are at John Reeves Live, and I'll respond to you as soon as I get your message. Have a blessed rest of your day, and I will catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!